anyway, uh, at the bus stop here, um, one stop before for where I'm actually going to get off, but this is the automated bus that has been uh, making news rounds and all the clickbait articles going on. And you see the video being shown, uh, you know, makes it look really impressive, you know, and uh, all high tech. And a lot of the, the clickbait news articles are talking about how high tech and revolutionary this is. But the actual reality of it is uh, thoroughly underwhelming. Um, so I'm going to pan over and I think the that is it coming now. So I'll be talking on a few things about it once I get on. So yeah, it's coming down through now. And here we go. Okay. No, mail. Uh, Yeah, so a few things to notice there that, um, you know, getting on did not have to pay. Uh, first thing that you would notice that there actually is a driver and he is driving the bus. So there is no automation going on whatsoever. Um, next thing to notice that we are in our own separate lane. There's a solid yellow line. So yes, we are on the street with other cars. But uh, that's an illusion of sort because we're in our own lane. We're in a BART lane. Um, so there is no interaction with other, uh, with other traffic going on. Uh, other thing to notice is that we are really going along at a snail's pace. It is just so incredibly slow. I mean, this is, you know, I, you know, you know, biking speed, not quite running speed. I mean, we're we're a little above running speed, but this is so extraordinarily slow. You saw a car just pass us there on the right. Um, so combined with, you know, there actually being a driver, there being lane, and the no interaction with traffic. And you see we're passing the other station here now. We're sort of in the center lane. Um, I haven't taken this route, so I'm curious to see. We're going to make the turn now. Uh, the fully autonomous bus, the short, like, um, you know, five meter long buses. The, um, well, not even that long. Um, but the shorter buses that are supposed to be fully automated with no driver at all. They are, uh, as near as I can tell, on a separate inner loop. We are going around on, you know, sort of a large loop around the financial district. And the way the financial district is laid out, the city planners, it's always like a moat. Uh, there is a ring of, there's a lake-like ring going completely around the financial district and then on the inside is like an artificial island where uh, that's where I think the fully autonomous vehicles are but I have done uh, everything that I can think of to get into that island and you see it up ahead on us those buildings that cluster of buildings right in the center of the screen there that is where I think the fully autonomous vehicles are, 
but there's no input on that. I mean, I've tried to get into the roads. All the roads are barricaded off, and there's guards posted stopping foot traffic from coming onto the island. You see cranes on top of each of the buildings there. It's all a construction zone. So if there is a fully autonomous vehicle, I mean, I am not aware of it. Um, you know, and the area where I think the fully autonomous vehicle is, is still under construction and not open to the public yet. So that leaves only, you know, the, you know, the, the larger buses here, and if I can get the can around to the back, you know, so that is the bus. Here's the stop coming up for us. Uh, going to get onto the subway from here, the metro. Okay. Shishini. And then the last thing to notice that we are fairly far distance away from the curb there. That uh, the promotional videos show it going all the way up to the curb. Uh, but there was a substantial gap there does not go directly from one to the other and there the bus goes off to the distance claimed to be fully autonomous vehicle but uh, not really autonomous at all and even if it was autonomous it would be sadly disappointing <laughs>